Hi everyone, it is still March 28, 2019. I'm going to show you radar and uh, satellite images that I caught earlier today. But first, I want to ask you guys in Kansas, in Nebraska, in Missouri in particular, did you get a lot of rain today? So they are far forecasting severe weather possible in the plains into the weekend. Severe weather across the central plains, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri. Great. Well, what is it? Thursday. It is 6 p.m. on the East Coast. Uh, and it sure did look like you were getting pounded with really bad storms today. But they're also forecasting large hail, strong wind gusts. Just what you need, right? Just what you need. All right. Uh, late week storm to soak central U.S. Heightened severe weather risk. And this was posted today unwelcome rain and the threat of locally severe thunderstorms to portions of the central United States through the end of the week. Potential for flooding and closed roads. Rounds of rain can produce a swath of one to three inches from eastern portions of Nebraska and Kansas to Illinois, Indiana, Ohio into Saturday. What is this? Areas that get hit repeatedly can receive an AccuWeather local storm max of four inches. What is that? A local, an AccuWeather local storm max of four inches. Okay. Stretches of interstate 25, 44, 55, 65, 69, 70. Downpours blowing spray from other vehicles. Isn't... Don't you find our weather reporting odd these days? Don't you find it odd that these storms that they talk about, they're always mentioning that they're around interstates. And around interstates, well, what line our interstates are Gwen Towers and cell phone towers, but Gwen Towers, which can emit ultra low frequencies that they can use to modify the weather, steer the jet stream, steer storms, uh, intensify storms. So airline delays can occur in Kansas City, St. Louis, Missouri, perhaps even in Chicago. And the storm is moving east. That's right. Storm moving across the country with rain, severe weather for central United States. Storm that brought hail the size of golf balls to F Florida on Wednesday has moved out. Okay. And now we are watching our western storm to cross the country and bring more severe storms, heavy rain, and even snow. I don't know why they mentioned the storm in Florida. Doesn't have anything to do with this western storm. But have you been reading lately? Unsettled weather. Unsettled weather. Now we have unsettled weather. We've got bomb cyclones. We've got bombogenesis. We've got unsettled weather. Uh, heavy snow falling on Interstate 80 in California. Over the Donner Summit where traffic has come to a standstill. All right. I really am very disappointed in myself for being so tired last night and not recording what I saw on <clears throat> this site and this site. 
because I saw nothing except for a little band of uh, precipitation that erupted right here. But I didn't see any other uh, precipitation. I looked at it because I read and, and did a video just a couple of days ago uh, they claiming that we were going to be getting this massive storm and I thought, well, where, are they, where is it coming from? I, where is it coming from? Because I couldn't see anything. So earlier, I went on here, but I'm here now, currently, right? Okay, so March 28th, uh, 3 p.m., 4 p.m., takes us to 5, just about 5 p.m. Okay, here is the storm. And here is a nice ultra low frequency hit. So this is moving out of Kansas and Nebraska and moving towards Illinois. So the storm for tomorrow that they're predicting, heavy rain, flooding, road closures, uh, hail, where is it? Can't see it. Okay. Well, this is what it looks like now, and this is what it looked like earlier. Wow. Okay, wow got a tremendous amount of frequencies shooting off in Nebraska, Kansas, into Iowa. And wow, how are you guys feeling in this region right here? Because these are very intense frequencies that you are seeing and intense frequencies going off here um, northwest Texas and the western edge of Oklahoma. So, uh, clearly uh, they are using those frequencies for that storm. Now, the radar. I spoke with a subscriber friend yesterday, who lives in Texas, the Fort Worth, Dallas area, and she was telling me how horrible she felt. And couldn't do anything, was in a lot of pain, and a lot of symptoms, experiencing a lot of symptoms. Many of you are. And it's due to these frequencies and other uh, toxins that we are subjected to. But this is very, very intense, these frequencies. Very intense radar emissions taking, uh, being emitted Mississippi, Louisiana, and southern Texas. So, you see the frequencies, the ultra-low frequencies being shot off right in this area and a nice straight-edged line of precipitation. So, I want to... This is what I took earlier. Okay? Look at that. Wow! Now, one would expect you were getting massive rain, massive amounts of rain here, tremendous thunderstorm, right? All right, I'm glad I did record this earlier because you cannot see this now. When I see the microwaves, 
the edge of these storms, when I see all of this red accumulating, I think high frequency heating coming out of our Doppler radar. Well, guess what? I was right. I was right. So let's zoom in and there you go. You can see the perfect circular pattern right here. So I, you can see the ultra low frequencies also right here and you'll begin to see the uh, outline, the circular outline Dopplerator high frequency heating with the uh, extremely low frequencies modulated with the uh, high frequency heating, you've got a cyclone or an earthquake or whatever it is that you would like. But uh, the high frequency heating, the Doppler radar signatures, you can see it. There it is. And, oh, it's not just one. They're intersecting. You can see the faint edges of uh, what is referred to as like a harp next rad ring. Right here, intersecting over here. And you can see it right up here in Nebraska yes the frequencies are very very clear also up here in Iowa so whatever <clears throat> they brought to you today whatever they're going to be bringing to uh, well, they claim Nebraska, Kansas, and Missouri this weekend. You can bet it is made by man. Right here, they're all over the high frequency heating signatures. Well, <clears throat> this is what we live now. This is it. I just wanted, you know, so I speak with my friend in Dallas or the Dallas area. And she's really hurting. And look at all of these frequencies shot off in an area where she said that she wanted to move to because she doesn't see very much um, of the frequencies you know, in western Texas, and I said, no, it's, it's definitely a happening thing. You know, you might not see this on other sites, but you'll see it on College of DuPage. So, we've got a lot of radar happening. And unfortunately, that radar is very, very dangerous to our health, to all life. I mean, look at all of these squares. All right, so what I do want to ask again, don't forget you guys in Kansas and, and Nebraska and Missouri. Did you get pounded with a lot of rain today? I am going to go through this as quickly as possible, but I just want to go through the symptoms once again of radar, uh, radio frequencies, microwaves, ultra low frequencies. But I want to start with this, which is very important. And this is a, um, oh God. And look, I've posted so many videos on this, and I'm just going to. 
uh, go through some of them, but I failed to... No, 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 I do have it. I'm sorry. This is from the effects of radar. We cannot predict the effects of radiation on an individual without knowing a great deal about his physical makeup. Very, very important. Very important because there are people who are asymptomatic. And then you have people who are hypersensitive. Unfortunately, when the hypersensitive people talk about how they're feeling, very often they're looked at, they're viewed as um, hypochondriacs or making it up or complaining, oh, you're just a complainer. No, no. The cumulative effect is a factor. The physical size of the individual is a factor. Their own constitution, their own physicality is a factor. Their own health is a factor. So there are many, many factors that go into why somebody experiences a sensitivity to the frequencies and why somebody doesn't. But the cumulative effect, everyone is affected. Those who are asymptomatic, you're still being affected though you feel fine. These frequencies are going through your body, affecting every cell in your body, and eventually you will cross the line and become symptomatic. More and more people are symptomatic, certainly than when I first got on YouTube eight years ago. And I was hypersensitive then. And a lot of people were leaving comments about, you're always complaining, you're a hypochondriac. I don't see those comments very often anymore, but I see an awful lot. You know, the, the, the friend that lives in Dallas was a subscriber, was an early subscriber of mine. My first Kafka Winston World channel, when I was still in Great Barrington. I didn't hear from, oh, I don't even remember hearing from subscribers then about how they were feeling. Now I hear from so many. So the cumulative effect, if you still have Wi-Fi in your home, you are, you're looking, you, you are, you're, you've made your environment, your home environment unsafe. So, um, paralysis, autonomic changes, skin on the face flush and can become pale, respiratory rate changes, increases, decreases, um, movements of the eyes, vertigo, dizziness. I'm not going to, I've posted videos on these. Uh, documents before, but because I'm still getting a lot of comments from people and they are, some ask, you know, they, they list their symptoms and say, can this be from uh, Wi-Fi? Yes. So uh, Parkinson's disease. Eyes are particularly, the eyes and testicles, guys, eyes and testicles, the two top organs, most sensitive. So when you look at so many men who carry that cell phone in their pocket right next to their testicles, um, you really have to wonder <laughs> it, what, don't carry your cell phone in your pocket. Don't put that laptop, I mean, this, this goes for all human beings, but you guys in particular, um, you want to come down with uh, 
testicular cancer, you you want to be um, infertile, keep doing it. Cataracts. Cataracts. And cataracts are exponentially increasing in our population. Cataracts. This is radar. This is what I was just showing you on that site. Both radar and communication systems may produce hazardous electromagnetic power densities. And they are hazardous. What else do I have? Um, uh, you, depending on the power density, they can kill you. Here, again, paralysis. And in articles on the Navy's non-lethal weapons, the Navy was actually looking for weapons to paralyze. Um, that buzzing or knocking or hissing, what we refer to as tinnitus, exponentially increasing in our population due to these frequencies. Um, convulsions. You, they can kill you and an autopsy wouldn't reveal any signs. Arousal or drowsiness. They can make you motionless. Uh, they can literally put your whole body into a fixed position. They can make you agitated. Um, they can make you unresponsive to touch, pain, light, um, any sound stimuli, or they can make it very painful. Um, people do not understand how unbelievably dangerous are these weapons, and they are weapons. Um, so they can make you into a puppet literally at the end of the string and they pull the strings and the eyes rapid blinking oscillation of the eyeballs rapid involuntary vertigo they can make you seem drunk paralysis of all four limbs they can, uh, they can create facial weakness. You know, think about all of those mystery diseases where people have become paralyzed, kids becoming paralyzed. Um, the damage to the pituitary gland. They can accelerate aging. If these frequencies are affecting every cell in your body, they can accelerate aging in humans, animals, plants. Um, they can create violence, homicide, suicide. Yeah, very, very dangerous. Unconventional research in USSR and Russia, short overview. Um, Studies on biological effects of weak electromagnetic emissions. Higher nervous activity can be affected by microwave radiation. Impact of medium short electromagnetic waves modulated by low frequency signals on separate areas of the brain that can affect your emotional state, the functionality of different organs, Ultra low frequencies, those long, colorful, uh, straight lined beams that you see on those sites, ultra low frequencies. So they can disrupt your brain. Various biological effects. Affects uh, your, the tissues of the body excites the nervous system. So when you look at how crazy people are and 
and when I read the comments it's heartbreaking to see how many people are really struggling but yeah a lot of people have left the comments the lead you know homes apartments schools all buildings had to be deleaded well the Soviets found that lead shields shield holds the radiation lead a lead shield holds the radiation. So all of our homes and apartments that are deleaded, the frequencies come right on in. Uh, psychophysiological effects, auditory hallucinations, breaks the processes of formation processing and information storage in the brain. It crosses the blood-brain barrier and has an impact on the psyche, which is unfortunate. Most people don't even know what the psyche is. Uh, I'm going to be posting a video on it, but the impact of the psyche If they can impact your psyche, they can keep you at a low level of consciousness. And they can actually make you just this robotic creature who never grows, never matures. Um, this is very... The, the environment that has manifested has uh, has really left us in a very vulnerable position. Mind control, yes. They can use these frequencies to mind control large populations. Large populations with ultrasound, infrasound, those long lines that you see on radar those extremely low frequencies are in the range of ultrasound, infrasound. Uh, all right, so uh, they can they can induce neuropsychiatric effects, including depression. Um, and you can have a whole host of disturbances emotionally, insomnia, and headaches, depression, depressive symptoms, fatigue, tiredness, uh, concentration, attention, dysfunction, memory changes, dizziness, irritability, loss of appetite, body weight, restlessness, anxiety, nausea, skin burning, tingling, um, EEG changes, biological and health effects of microwave radiation, uh, radio frequency transmissions, electro hypersensitivity, malaise, tinnitus, burning flush skin, digestive disturbances, tremors, cardiac irregularities, and all the other symptoms that I had read, headache, sleep disturbance, difficulty in concentration, memory disturbance, fatigue, depression. This is very serious, guys. Altered physiolo um, physiolo physiology, melatonin, melatonin depletion. Melatonin is really important. It's an extremely potent antioxidant. It helps to repair damaged DNA. So the cell phones damage, or these frequencies damage our DNA and deplete our melatonin. We get a double, double hit to our DNA. And melatonin also, <laughs> it protects us against the growth of cancer cells. Do you think it's a surprise that we have you know, this exponential increase in cancer. 
disruption of the circadian melatonin cycle. Why do we have so many people who can't sleep? Oxidative stress and damage to the DNA. Uh, more symptoms, chronic problems, um, cancer, male infertility. So you might want to check out the U.S. Naval Medical Research Institute, 1972. You can just put that in and then uh, include microwaves and you will come up with the U.S. Navy report from 1972 documenting, documenting 2,200 studies linking even weak wireless signals to more than 122 biological effects. Did you hear that? Our Navy in 1972 documented more than 2,200 studies finding weak wireless signals have biological effects the number more than 122 and we can't get through to people army biological effects hmm body heating to mimic a fever how many times have I said that induced flu, the non-flu flu is what I call it. It lasts for a day or two. Body heating to mimic a fever. Under fever conditions become uh, much less aggressive. This is, by the way, the, uh, the Army's bioeffects of selected non-lethal weapons which was produced via a Freedom of Information request. Okay, the non-lethal weapons, radar, ultra-low frequencies, lasers, light phenomena, 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 uh, radio frequency directed energy, oral bio effects, aurora, a, auroral, ah man, forget it, um, microwave hypothermia, so they can induce symptoms of a flu. They can make you less aggressive. Uh, perhaps more irritable. They can induce hypothermia. They can disrupt your working memory, which would leave you disoriented. They can create sensations that you hear, ah, buzzing, ticking, hissing, knocking in your head. Use it to distract individuals. Not only might it be disruptive to the sense of hearing, it could be psychologically devastating if one suddenly heard voices within one's head. Signals can be transmitted long distances, hundreds of meters, ultra-low frequencies that can uh, be emitted up to 300 miles. They're lined. The Gwen Towers are lined. Our interstates, you'll see them all over. Okay, so loss of consciousness, intense muscle spasms, disrupt normal cortical control, disrupts normal functioning of the spinal motor neurons, which control muscle contraction and body movements. Normal function of the brain. Uh, they can disrupt the normal function of the brain. Disrupt neurons, the processing of those um, neurotransmitters firing off. In other words, it disrupts the communication going on in your brain. It can leave you with no motivation, hardly any 
ability to pay attention and your memory uh, they can even uh, reduce that memory to a point where you literally can't even organize your own behavior. Do you think this is serious? Yeah, it is. And they can activate specific forms of behavior such as sexual, aggressive, ingestive activities. So when I learned about this and there are an awful lot of people who like teachers, you know, you have these young women who are having sex with their students who are in junior high and high school and they end up getting arrested. Sorry, this was not anything that we saw before. So you can feel uh, physical stress, heat shock, strong emotional stress, the level of synchronization, synchronization. You can also um, have difficulty pronouncing words and, and speaking. Um, yeah, large, non-specific large populations of brain neurons. Um, they can just disrupt it all. They can cause muscle weakness, involuntary muscle contractions, loss of consciousness, intense muscle spasms. It is an incapacitating technology. So um, many feel absolutely exhausted and you can barely function. Look at all of the emissions of frequencies coming out of our radar, Doppler radar stations all over the country. All right, guys, uh, <laughs> we are in trouble. Acoustic energy, nausea, okay, causes the eyes to move involuntarily. Vertigo is also increasing. You can experience a sensation of turning. How many of you are feeling okay? How many of you are not? And please do leave comments because I'd really love to hear how you guys are doing. Uh, I will say, um, and this is not to you know, get sympathy or whatever, I am absolutely going down. I'm reading more comments from people who say they know they're not going to be alive very long. It's bad, guys. This is not good, what's happening. And, you know, what you can do to avoid or, you know, try to feel better is reduce your exposure get rid of that iPhone or smartphone, get a flip top, uh, they're less dangerous, get rid of the Wi-Fi and get your internet hardwired with an ethernet cord. If there's a smart meter, wherever it is on your home, uh, the room that has that smart meter outside, don't spend much time in that room tried to get it removed and you have to reduce the exposure of these electromagnetic frequencies. That's number one. If you don't, if you don't reduce the exposure, it won't matter. Any other uh, means or methods that you're using to detox or to try to feel better, it won't matter at all. Number one, reduce your exposure. 